Hi, I'm Jared with VisibleTour.com and today, today's a depressing day. My Canon does not look as cool to me anymore. Why can't you be more like Sony? So you know it's really bad when canonrumors.com has an article about a Sony. Am I on the wrong team? Canonrumors.com cheats on Canon with articles upping how awesome the new Sony is. Which then people like me, who is a Canon fanboy and excited about Canon, been shooting Canon for the last like 15, 16 years, thinks, oh, well, if Canon Rumors is like thinking like Sony's that good, maybe it is. And so I looked at the specs. Oh man, I can't believe it. I might, I might be getting a Sony in the near future. I, I can't believe it. The Sony A7R V for victory because the thing just trumped, in my opinion, the specs of the R5. And what will seal the deal is if we find out this thing does not overheat. I don't know if it will, um, but it may not overheat in the lower 4K realm, but everything they've done with the technology that I'm reading on here. And the IBIS, the IBIS is eight stops. I don't memorize these things like a lot of you people do. So that's why I have my phone in front of me. So I had to just look at this and get on here and talk about it. So right away, I want you guys, if you are a Canon shooter, if you own a Canon camera, you love Canon. It's not like you've been cheating on another one with Canon to make that other one jealous. You actually love Canon, but now you're thinking, well, I don't know, maybe Sony's pretty good. Leave a comment below. Tell me why you might go there or do what I might be doing. And that is playing both sides, double dating here. So I have double dated with uh, brands before. Panasonic and I had a thing together. Canon was okay with it. We did it. We made it work. It was a good relationship. But I don't know. I feel like Sony is kind of like, I mean, look at this. You've got these specs that are insane. 16-bit. Um, Video, 16-bit video is like amazing color quality that you're getting. I mean, 10-bit, 12-bit, but you're getting 16-bit, it says in here. That is insane if I'm not reading this incorrectly, but I'm pretty sure I'm looking at this correctly. So you got the 61 megapixels, you've got the um, 4K, you also have an 8K at 24 and 25p, um, and 4K video oversampled from 6.2K without any binning. That is super sharp. Now, I'm filming this on the Canon R7. Um, that doesn't have pixel binning as well. Um, that is super sharp. I love it. It's a great image. It doesn't overheat. And the pricing is what you would expect for something like this, which is the same as like the Canon R5. You're at this $3,900, $3,898, right? But it's $3,900 for the body, plus you need lenses. So the problem with this, in my perspective, is that I'm a Canon shooter. I have Canon RF, I have Canon EF lenses. I could take the EF and I could bring them over to the Sony. So that's not a problem. But anything going forward, I'm gonna have to get Sony or I'm gonna have to get EF with an adapter. Um, but man, I kinda just wanna put my foot and test the waters and see what it's like. So, I mean, maybe I should honestly just go to like the A7R4 and get a used one that's a lot cheaper, around $2,500 used instead of spending $3,900 on a brand new body of this. But the specs, the 10-bit, the 16-bit um, that you get and the 422, I mean, it literally is a film camera. So it begs the question, what is the next A7S 4 gonna look like, right? Or are we on the A7S 5? I don't even know what's next. I don't follow Sony, but Canon Rumors follow Sony. How can you trust this website when they're putting up all this stuff? And I understand things are slow for Canon. They probably wanna get more readers, viewers. 
Uh, but they've just made me think like, maybe I need to play with Sony. And if I play with Sony, I may not want to play with Canon anymore. <laughs> that might be the, the thing. Um, these specs on the Canon um, A7R 5 or V for victory over all the other cameras out there, it just blows it away. So this isn't going to be a very long video. I'm not going to dwell on it too much, or should I? Should I dwell on this? Should we, should we hatch this out right now? You and I and all the other people that are watching this video, let's hatch it out below. Let's make a decision. Let's make a game plan. Are we going to boycott Sony? Are we going to say, no, Sony, I'm not going to buy you. I'm going to stick to a system that doesn't let third parties create lenses. Oh my gosh, that's right. We've never talked about that on this channel. How horrible Canon is for stopping third parties for creating awesome glass like Tamron. Tamron and Sigma have not offered any RF glass, but they offer it on Sony. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe it is the future. Sony is the future and the A7R V for victory is the one that I'm gonna go to. Oh my gosh. I really wanna see somebody do a full review on this camera very shortly because I have a feeling it is gonna be as good as they say it is because Sony knew that Canon was catching up, getting better again, and more of a cinema type cameras, kind of like the last video I just did. It is on. It is Canon versus Sony. They are going to fight each other out and there might be blood. And we get to take the winner home on a date. Like whoever beats up the other one. I mean, you guys can have that person. I don't care. But I think everybody else wants to take the winner out into, you know, like Chick-fil-A or, you know, I like Panera Bread. So I'll probably take Sony Oh, did I think that Sony was gonna win this war? Okay, if it's Sony, Panera Bread. But if it's Canon, I'm taking Canon out to um, Chick-fil-A. So it's a win-win because I like both those places. Oh man, Sony A7R V. Maybe the next video will be me playing with this camera in my hands, magic hands, magic camera. Oh my gosh. I don't usually do these kind of ranted videos when I'm talking about a product, but maybe I should. Maybe I should just lay my heart out in front of all of you on how I feel. And if that's the case, then subscribe, like, make a comment, say, Jared, lay your heart out, put your heart out out there and just say, Jared, we want to know how you bleed and what you feel by telling us about your feelings of cameras and stuff. And I will. I will share that with you like I am right now. So again, subscribe, like, leave a comment. My dog's barking upstairs. It knows that there's a storm of brewing. There's a storm of brewing with Sony and Canon. There's gonna be blood. There's gonna be SD cards flying all over. And uh, prepare for the storm because there is gonna be a, a storm between Canon I don't even know, is that a storm when Canon and Sony get together and they make like a tornado, hurricane, and they drop out little things and kill people? Oh my gosh, people are gonna die. This is too real. Okay. It's Canon, they're pissed. <laughs>